Hey, beautifuls. Hey, handsomes. Uh, if you do not know me, I'm Carly Myers, and I'm the founder and coach here at Work You Love, which is a really exciting thing to say. Um, it's kind of like when you get married and you go from saying boyfriend to fiance to husband. Um, for the longest time, I've been A-Pop Studios, and now I'm officially Work You Love, uh, which is so exciting. So um, that's just a little change. But yes, I'm the founder and coach of Work You Love. And what I wanted to hop on here today to talk to you guys, to you specifically even about, um, is really the, one of the most important, actually I might even say, like have the, the ovaries, the guts to say that this is probably the number one thing that you need to be doing in order to get to the next phase of your career. So I know a lot of you guys have heard of the saying, um, it's all in who you know. I don't know if that's actually a saying, but you've heard it's all in who you know. Um, to you know, whether it's the, to get into that party, whether it's to get that next job, whether it's to um, you know get that discount at you know a store or whatever it is, it's all in who you know. And what does that boil down to? It boils down to relationships. It boils down to friendships. It boils down to connection. And that is you know, why networking has become one of the biggest things that people who are seeking jobs are doing. They're also, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, the number one thing entrepreneurs are doing um, when they first start their companies out is hit the ground running. They're out networking. But this is the, you know, networking can be networking, right? It can be just going into a room with a bunch of business cards and the goal is to pass as many business cards out or receive as many business cards as possible. But I'm gonna say we might, just as a society, have networking all wrong. Networking is really about creating deep and meaningful connections with other people who we might have never met otherwise. And the point of networking is to get us to that next phase, right? Is to get us to the next phase of our career, whether that's the promotion, whether that's allowing us to build our business. Networking, is been, has been a tool, but I think we might be using that tool incorrectly. So a lot of times we're going into these networking events, hoping, wishing, praying that we can tell everyone, as many people as possible, what we do and what we're looking for. Um, that's not how deep and meaningful connections work. And deep and meaningful connections are important because those are the people who are going to definitely give you recommendations. Um, they're definitely going to get you send you referrals if you're a business owner. They are going to have your back through the ins and outs. The number one thing that I recommend doing to get to that next phase of your career is practicing listening, practicing active listening, active conversation, so that when you get to a networking event, you really are enabling the other person to have a platform. It's so rare these days to have a platform to speak. Right? Everyone wants to go to a networking event to tell more about themselves, but there's hardly ever much room for that. So you can stand out by going to networking events, going into any room, not even networking events, and listening, being an active listener, asking the right questions, you know, really being interested in what they do. And then, you know, if you want to go to the next phase, you can say, well, how does what they do, how does that tie back to me? So really about, it's really about creating, you know, thinking about networking in a different way. Hey, Jay, um, it's, it's thinking about networking in, in the way of active listening versus um, giving your pitch. Because no one likes to be salesy, right? No one likes to feel that feeling when someone's like, sell, you know, buy my product. This is what I do. They, they, everybody has this fear of salesy. And it's because that's because there's so many people in the world that are in this desperation mindset. So the one thing that you need to do to get to the next phase of your career is one, get into different event, different rooms with different people. But really, once you get in those rooms is to sit there, stand there, whatever, and listen, actively listen, ask questions about them and really think about how your relationship to them, you know, what you do can serve them or vice versa. Um, so. It's all in who you know, that saying is true, but let's not push it down, you know, push what we, what we wanna do down people's throats. Let's really think about how we can really connect and really be authentic because 
those are the people, the people who we genuinely connect with. Hey, Lauren, that we genuinely connect with. Those are the people that are going to send us clients. Those are the people that are going to get us the next job. Those are the people who are going to write that letter of recommendation. So let's get out there. Let's start making those relationships real ones and not make it about the number of business cards that we're collecting. Okay. Um, I know I got a little bit up on my, on my high horse there, but I really believe that that is, I mean, that is how I grew my business genuine connections, being real, not being fake, not giving people the spiel, right? And when I'm going out in rooms, I'm really, really want, curious about the other people that are in the room because um, it's really exciting to learn what all of these amazing humans are doing out there. Um, so that is kind of what's happening for me. That is just a piece of advice that I wanted to give you. Um, and I'm sure there, there's other blog posts. If you were looking for more content, you can go to workyoulovenow.com for some more content, some more advice on how to build your career, get it to the next level. All right, I love you guys.